after today's EU hearing and announcing two deals with Nintendo and NVIDIA, how optimistic are you that this deal will go through and get the regulator's approval now? I think there's a clear path forward towards regulatory approval. The two agreements that we announced today, I think, really provide two guardrails, if you will. One shows how we can come to terms to make Call of Duty available on other platforms. Today it was Nintendo. In the future it can be Sony. On the other side, the agreement we've done with NVIDIA really shows how we can address the concerns relating to cloud gaming. If you put together the two agreements we announced today, I think it creates a model, both for other companies but for regulators. And what we've really shown is that if this deal is approved with these agreements, we will bring Call of Duty to 150 million more people. And I think that addresses the number one question that has been on people's minds. The UK's watchdog, on the other hand, uh, last, uh, earlier this month hinted that the deal could only go ahead with structural remedies, including a potential divestiture of Call of Duty or other parts. Um, you seem to have hinted um, today that this is a no-go for Microsoft. Is this a deal breaker? We don't see a viable path to sell off the part of this company, Activision Blizzard, that makes Call of Duty. Given that, I think that the alternative is really quite clear. Either the deal gets blocked or it gets approved with guardrails, with regulatory controls. The path where it gets approved brings this game to 150 million more people. The path where it gets blocked does not. I think when regulators look at that choice, it becomes quite clear what is going to best serve consumers around the world. So do you see the UK regulatory process at the moment as, as your biggest obstacle? I don't know that it's possible to compare exactly or rate the different authorities around the world, but the UK is very important. That is indisputable. And it, I just think it's critically important that regulators in the United Kingdom look at what it would mean to bring this game, which they've said is so important, to 150 million more people. If you look at what they say they want, it's in fact what we're going to deliver. Mm -hmm. How optimistic that you can still reach, um, are you that you can still reach a deal with uh, Sony? Um, and would you say that this could be the final hurdle to allay regulators' concerns? Well, I think if we could address Sony's issues and reach an agreement, it would be good news for everybody, including for Sony and for PlayStation users. But at the end of the day, it always takes two to come to terms. And we've been hoping that we could make more progress with Sony. I think for Sony, the question is, do you want to hold on to the past an 80% share in Europe for something like PlayStation compared to Xbox? They are the super dominant company. Or do they want to move into the future with the rest of the industry, a future that actually is more cross-platform that creates more opportunities for more people? Now, of course, I know you can't say much about the hearing today. And you, it was a closed-door hearing, but you've received a, a list of uh, worries that the, that the Commission has in a statement of objections. This is all confidential, we are aware. Um, the hearing today possibly gave you more insights. Um, which, what are the next steps in the EU um, approval? Well, the, Europe, the European Commission's process has a ways to go. It's a number of weeks ahead. Uh, I think one of the critical milestones will be our continuing work to provide proposed remedies, which we've made clear we're prepared to do. In effect, if you look at the agreements that we've entered into today with NVIDIA and Nintendo, you know, they point the way to regulatory obligations as well. And I think that's a good path forward, and it would put the European Commission in a position to play the role that it, ha that it has long played so well, namely to enable innovation to go forward, but with the kinds of guardrails and oversight it is typically provided. Mm -hmm. And in the US, there is a July deadline for the deal to close, but there is a hearing set for August. Um, have Microsoft and Activision agreed to extend? I think it's too soon for us to think about whether we need to enter into any extension. I will say this. I think if we can address these issues in Brussels, if we can sort through things in London, I'm optimistic that we'll advance in Washington, D.C. as well.